We're going to look at sequential search now. Before we do that, uh, I decided to use the print deck method that was in the last section right here. And I call the print deck method here. And you can see outside, this is the end of public static void main. Outside of that is my print deck. And it takes a deck of cards and just goes the for each loop, prints them all out. All right, sequential search. So this is a method, public static int search. Now, why am I putting all these in chapter 12 and not card? Well, that's super important to understand the difference. So card represents one card at a time, not two cards, just one at a time. If you want lots of cards, then you have to be outside the class and you're gonna create lots of card objects. So anytime that we're dealing with lots of cards, more than one, we should really not be inside the public class card. Now it's said sort of because the compare to compares this to another card. So there are some methods that compare this card to another card, but typically if you want lots of cards, you want to write that code somewhere else. That's why we built the array out here. So let's go ahead and check out sequential search. I'll put it right above print deck. Boom, all right, I'll shift F this. All right, so this is just called search. Let's look at what this does. So it takes an array of cards, okay, so a lot of cards, and it takes a single card, which is the one you're looking for. And starts the for loop, so it loops over all the cards in the array. Now, if you look right here, this uses cards.length, which may be 52, or some other number, so it's better to use cards.length. Let's be smart and... Oh, I guess I deleted the code that had 52 in it before. So you shouldn't have a 52 here because it won't always be 52. All right, so it goes, looks at each card, and this says if the card at position I equals the target, which is the card you sent in, return I. So what is I? I is the index. Maybe it makes sense to call this index. Control R, index, there we go. So it's gonna return the index of the card and we know arrays index start at zero and goes up to length minus one. So if you find the card, whatever index value you get, the smallest it's gonna be is zero. If you don't find it, meaning this if statement was false every single time until you got to the end of the deck, at that point, you would return negative one, and that negative one indicates I did not find your card. Okay. We have a slight problem. Well, it's not really a problem. Our deck, every possible card is already in our deck, so this search algorithm won't be very exciting to look at for our purposes, or for, for our current code. But let's go ahead and do it anyways. So we'll print the deck and then we'll do search, search cards, comma. Now I have to put a single card in here and there's a few ways to do this. What I'm gonna do is make a card here. I'll just call it card one again equals, let's go, I really like the ace of hearts. I think this is it right here. So we're gonna search all the cards for this specific card one. Now search returns an integer, so we better either print it or save it. So I'll save it. Uh, I'll just call it result, not feeling creative right now, and then we'll sout it. I don't want to re reprint the deck because the deck is huge and we already, we just did that. Um, so we'll print out result. Okay, so this is gonna print out looking for whatever card one is and then a colon space and then that number that search returned. All right. Ace of Hearts is at position 26. Let's do a, whoa, I think I have the insert on. Nope, now I definitely have insert on. Sl 
slash n slash. There we go. Okay, so ASR is position 26. So printing all this out, well, where's position 26? I'm going to have to count quite a bit. So I want to print the deck, but I also would like to see what position each of these cards has. I mean, I could see Ace of Clubs looks like it's at position zero, but it would be nice to see that. So inside a print deck, so we do print the card, but let's also keep track of the index. Starts at zero. So I'm gonna print index plus, and I'm just putting that space in just to space it out. Oh. Let's not do it for a second. Boom, and then I want index to increase. What's going on here? Okay, so I was expecting this to work. The reason it's not working, index is an integer card. Card is not a string, card is a card. The reason it turns into a string normally is because I'm adding a string to it, concatenating, and whenever you concatenate, it automatically calls the two string method on card. So now we see position 26 is the ace of hearts. And then dun, 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 ace of hearts is at position 26. All right, excellent. So we found it. All right. The only way we're going to find a card that's look for a card that's not in here is if we remove some of the cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out all the spades. So how would I do that? Here's where I build the deck. So now our code's getting more complicated. So we're gonna build the complete deck here, except I'm instead of going to suit three, I'm gonna to go to suit two. So it won't create any of the spades, I think. Hmm, what did we do wrong? No pointer exception. Ah. So what happened here, let's think about, we created a deck with 52 cards or 52 positions for cards, but because I removed an entire suit, there's actually 13 cards missing. So, oh man, I'm not great at subtraction. 52 minus 13, I don't think they'll let me do that. No, maybe they will. Oh, fantastic. That makes me happy. All right. Apparently it's uh, 38 if I was good at subtraction. But good news is you don't have to be good at arithmetic in computer science. You can just do that subtraction right there. All right. So in a 38, 38 cards now. Oh, sorry, 39 cards because we started at zero. All right, so Ace of Hearts is still position 26. That didn't change, no problem. Um, let's start suits at one and go to three. So what's gonna happen now, we're actually gonna get all of our spades back, but we're gonna lose all the clubs at the beginning because we're gonna skip suit zero, which is clubs are starting at one. And again, I increased this to three so that we'd cover three suits so that we have this many cards. All right, so we got no spades. Yeah, so I took out all the spades. All right, so no. What did I take out? Clubs, I took out clubs, that's what's not here. All right, let's look for a clubs now. So clubs would be zero. And let's give this a run. All right. <laughs> Looking for Nola hearts. That's not good. This is the rank, and the rank can never be zero. That's the suit. The suit should be zero. 
All right, now we're looking for the Ace of Clubs, and we took out all the clubs, so I was expecting not to see it, and you can see right there we got negative one. Okay, so this is how to look through the entire deck of cards and decide if a card is in there or not. Now I want to warn you, if there's a repeat of a card in there, so let's say there's two Aces of Clubs, it'll return the index of the first Ace of Clubs because of the way this is written. It starts at the beginning of the deck, and then increases the index. So the first time it sees the card using the equals method, it'll return the first index. So if the card appears more than once, it's only going to return the first index. And we're going to be extending the search method later. So make sure you're okay with the way that the search works. This, by the way, is a slow search because it looks... It doesn't always look through every card, but if the card's not in the deck, it will look through every single card in the deck. Good news is, if you don't have thousands or hundreds of thousands of items, it's very quick to look through 52 items. Even if your computer's not that fast, believe me, it's going to look through 52 cards in a blink. Uh, we're going to look next at a binary search, but there are some serious limitations to it. Because this search looks potentially at every card, it doesn't matter if the deck is ordered in any way. That totally changes with binary search, which we're gonna look at next.